you know, when my father did this, I was eight. The appraiser was saying, for this stuff here, three, 5,000? Yeah, which was <laughs> a lot more than I expected. What was it like growing up in a, in a house where your dad did work for NASA? It was hectic, it was crazy. I mean, these guys, they had just a few years to get a man on the moon and everything was behind. Everything was two weeks, three weeks behind. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. And it was, it was all a team. I mean, every, from the guys landing on the moon uh, to the guys, you know, doing the patches. And my dad would spend sometimes, you know, 80, 90, 100 hours a week, you know, at NASA. And it, it was just, I guess I didn't know any different. I remember weekends were really special, uh, Sundays especially, because that's really the only time we had together, at least towards the end there, when things were really hectic. Would he tell you stories about the office? Yeah, um, some uh, I could probably relate, some I can't. <laughs> but he said, you gotta remember, these are guys, their job was to sit on 200,000 pounds of high explosives. And so they had, you had to have a certain mentality. These were ex-fighter pilots, ex-test pilots. And these guys, they had a certain bravado and a certain, you know, that's what they did. You know, if they had parties at the house, they had to go upstairs, so. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He did tell me the story about when they first moved from, well, to Houston for Mission Control, where they gave the astronauts all brand new uh, Corvettes. And he remembered uh, going to work, because they all lived in the same area, Clear Lake and so forth. And they were going to work, and uh, he remembered those guys on that fresh white concrete, they were on the superhighways, these guys zip, 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 you know, racing to work, like they were racing their jets. Does your dad know you're here today? He doesn't. I'm going to surprise him. The show won't be on, I guess, until January. So I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to say anything until then. I'm going to say, you know, you need to watch the Antiques Roadshow. And he'll say, well, oh, okay, I guess. And then uh, I said, no, no, you really need to watch it. And so uh, hopefully we'll surprise him with this. I think he'll be pleased.